Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support my brand, it's Inspired by Dreams Dop Shop. And it's a preppy streetwear brand, something for you to just add something new to your closet. Okay, today's episode, I really wanted to have this conversation with you guys. And as we all know, if you want to continue this conversation, we can talk live on our morning shows at 9 a.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Or you can leave your comments down below, and I'm always in the comment section fiddling around. Today, we're talking about deception. So I had to break this up just to follow the YouTube guidelines and just make it a reactional video so we can form this conversation. So what I did was I got different ways of people just deceiving people in different ways social media you can see the deception in it and i just wanted to open you guys eyes up to just to be alert of certain things so you guys won't get caught up with these scams deceptional things deceptional people you know so i'm bringing this to you guys today and you guys leave your comments down below if you realize or you've seen this or you just have your own opinions on it and i'll get back to you guys all right love you guys and let's just jump right into it let's get it Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Well, child's happiness is priceless, right? Especially on a birthday. A child's happiness is priceless, especially on a birthday. Deception is running rampant. The dangerous thing about not being in your Bible and having a personal, intimate relationship with the Lord yourself is that when this deception happens and it's happening every day, every minute, every hour, you will not know. Any and not cutting it real quick, but this is what I'm seeing. Like, you don't have to deceive people to sell something. Trust me, in these times, honesty is going to be your best thing to sell your products and just being selling yourself with your products. Honesty is keep that in mind. In your spirit, how to discern right from wrong, light from dark truth from a lie deception is a lie and what's happening right now is we have so many who are not intimate with the lord who are not reading their bible who don't know how to personally discern because they don't know the difference and so they're listening to man and people and the bible is very clear about listening to man the holy spirit is the one who teaches us the Holy Spirit is the one who gives us revelation, knowledge, and wisdom. The number one way that the Lord speaks to us is through the Bible. The Americanized culture is so full of distractions and the carrot on a stick we've been chasing for hundreds of years that we're too busy to notice the difference. We have a Bible that is legal. Many people have Bibles sitting on their shelves today that have dust on them because they're too busy for God. They're too busy for the Lord. They'll get right next year with him. Their career is more important. There's too many games and sports to be getting to after work and school to focus on the Lord. There's more money to be made. There's new businesses to start. There's more activities to go to. The list goes on and on and on. And now is the time to get right with the Lord. You're gonna have to lay down yourself. You're gonna have to lay down things of the world. You're gonna have to lay down activities. You're gonna have to lay down your flesh. You're gonna have to lay some stuff down and sacrifice time to be with the Lord because you right now, my friend, are gonna need discernment. Number one, you need a relationship with the Lord. That's what salvation's all about. That's what faith truly means. And if you wanna survive through the times that are coming in this world, you're gonna need that discernment in the days ahead. Be blessed. I have a quick question for you if you're interested in media literacy and or media morality and the ethics of publication and posting. Do you ever think about how quickly satire can become a get out of jail free card for capitalizing and monetizing off of just really abhorrent and horrendous takes? I think it's interesting because I think that most people would agree that satire is actually a very natural evolution of human expression. It serves a much needed purpose, but also because it's always and not or, right? If you don't know that satire is satire, at what point does it stop becoming satire? Because for me, the differentiation would actually be when a creator continues to actively foster a community based on the belief that that is actually real and not 
indeed satire. Like there's no disclosure at any point in the process. And on a different but related note. And keep in mind, with social media, you know, news just piling up day to day, people never remember what you said to them. They only remember how you made them feel. One of my mutuals just released a video talking about how kind of weird it is to see people starting to constantly just remake videos but without tagging the original. I actually think we could go on an entirely different nuanced rant about when it comes to sociology and all that stuff. But that made me think about one of my other pet peeves when it comes to media literacy, which is the types of videos that are not necessarily satire, but they're just skits. Whether it be professionally done, like these videos you see where they're, they're in the plane a lot of times and people fall for it, but it's obviously a fake plane or it's like amateurishly done by a content creator. And it makes me think about like a girl filming her boyfriend across the table on like a first date and like these terribly offensive things that he's saying and the way he's behaving when it's obviously like that they are a couple and they're just making this fake video for like views, money, whatever, because that's something different altogether. Even if you're eating a healthy snack bar with no necessarily bad ingredients, you still have a right to know what you're consuming. What do you guys think about that? I think it's an insidious way to mess with society's idea of reality. I don't know, I don't know, what do you think? Now it's happening, but with the power of social media and the fact that this misinformation a lot of times is insidious, you don't realize that it's so bad and so problematic because what it's doing is it's actually tricking people into not understanding how science works. How when we put out a hypothesis, an idea of what we think could happen, we actually strive to disprove our hypothesis. So if I say this, glass of water here will help you live longer, I will actually, as a scientist, want to set out to prove that it doesn't. And I will think of every way and I would bring on people to disagree with me and find ways that we could test that this doesn't work. But right now on social media, what you see is a lot of people just supporting what agrees with them. There's um, a shift from journalism as independent, as truth seeking, um, as having standards of accuracy and objectivity and transparency and contextualization. And all of those things have gone away in order to, in, in some people's minds, present the truth, meaning... It's almost to the point of scary that people won't give that second, you know, um, look, at, look into something or just make sure that second, you know, double check. <laughs> the moral truth instead of looking for accuracy seeking truth and trying to present facts so that people can make up their own minds we're now seeing media present moral truths as if they are a replacement for facts and that's and with these words you know um, the APA style guide says um, not all people fall under one of two categories for sex or gender and says gender is not synonymous with sex. So they're saying there's more than two sexes is what the style guide is saying. So they're asserting something as if it's true in the use of their life. Well, and the opposite of news is, of course, you know, censorship and deception. So if you're hiding that, then you're committing, well, a moral crime, but you're also committing an offense against the profession that you chose, whose purpose is to inform the public of what reality is, right? and you're hiding things rather than exposing them. And that, I mean, that that's pretty clear violation, isn't it? Yeah, I again, I think it's an opportunity to build the data set, to yeah. better understand what's happened over the last couple of years and, you know, really ap apply that investigative plan. No, no I voted. Run a few no, what did you say? You switched the I switched the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fake news, the fact if you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Hmm. Uh, what do you do? That's the great question. What is the long-term effect of too much information? One of the effects is the need to be first, not even to be true anymore. So what a responsibility you all have to be, to tell the truth, not just to be first, but to tell the truth. Some of the things that you have to find in these situations are what's the motive? Why did you do that? Um, is there some financial gain, some... Some people do it to hurt people. And these are all the things you have to look out for because yeah, you can sell things by being negative and yeah, you'll get a bunch of views by being negative and attracting that type of energy. But in reality, it's those positive vibes, it's those those, those meaningful conversations and, and 
those truthful conversations that make people connect. Because if you just be a truthful self, I think we can maybe add a few more things to the world and make it a better place. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.